another super goal. Back everybody pitch side. England have won this one 22 points to six. There's a little bit of an arm wrestle at the start, but England ran away with it in the end. is the Bedford School game. And today, the two schools are going head-to-head -head in celebration. The sun, unfortunately, is not shining on the righteous today. And we've got a... Yes, we've got some rain coming down on us, but that's not going to dampen the spirits. And uh, let's have a look at the uh, Bedford team now coming out. We see there they're getting a guard of honour. And there's the Bedford boys in their bright red, ready for today's game. Our research reveals that today's first 15 fixture will be the 157th senior fixture between Dulwich and Bedford, including four meetings, at obviously, at the annual St. Joe's Festival, where we are next week. Bedford just held the upper hand with 66 victories, but a victory for today, for Dulwich today, would put them within one of Eclo in that total. Today's game is likely to be fiercely contested, as have so many of them over the years. We will try and tell you what happened what else happened 400 years ago today? We will do a bit of research and tell you what's there. But uh, as we await, the school, the school and the old Alenians, the alumni, await Dulwich College to enter the fray. They're going to begin a big, as you can see there in the background, look at that for a spectacle. Many a film that we've seen has been used here as a backdrop. Dulwich College, three years, Nat West finalists, winners. Lost the fourth year, so not so long ago, two years ago. They were Champions Trophy winners. So it is a team with pedigree. This is going to be a big team. They, they went through the next round of the Champions Trophy on Wednesday against St. John. So big team, big season. And it's all happening here in South East London as we await Dulwich. You see the rain's coming down, but it's not dampening the spirits. There's about 30 games gone on today, so today's celebration. Normally, obviously, the team's split between the uh, Bedford and Dulwich, but today, everybody 
is playing down here at Dulwich as part of this celebration. Let's run through the team today. Dulwich, Lorcan Tierney is one, George Pepper two, Archie Woodcock three, Will Rinsard four, Mac Laban five, Sam Williams six, Joe Collahan seven, Jack Springate co-captain at eight, Ben Potter at nine, Alex Cahill co-captain at 10, Oliver Keeling at 11, George Rawkins at 12, Marcus Marchant at 13, Jimmy Shepherd at 14, and Isaac Shaw at 15, and Johnny Brearley, Xavier Rainbow, Adam Kinnerons, and Isaac Gleave make up the, the subs bench. And there are the boys for today's game. Coming out, the, the whole school out here today, cheering them on. So let's now look at the uh, Bedford school team for today. One is George Bennett, two is Ben Sheriff, three is George Thomas, four, Alex English, five, Henry Warren, six, Gurkha and Jahal, seven, Alex Christie, eight, Will Rampley, nine, Bryn Williamson, 10, Ch Tom Chambers, 11, Lewis Budderley, 12, Luke Williams, 13, Michael Phillips and captain of the team, four, Alfie Wilcox, 15, Ben Barnes, and on the bench, Lucas Inman, coach James Hinkins. I forgot to mention that James Hanks is the coach of uh, for Dulwich today. And in the middle is Charlie Strong from the London Society of Referees. The anticipation grows. Bedford in the red, Dulwich in the blue and black. And for those of you who are watching in black and white, Bed Dulwich are playing left to right. And we are off. Dulwich gets off, gets us underway. This 400th game. And with a bit of interest, straight back from. Straight back from Bedford, but refs pick something up. It's the little knock on there, unfortunate. So the first scrum of the day is going to uh, Bedford. First chance for these two packs to uh, see what each other's about. Williamson putting in for Bedford. Nice and solid. Back it comes. He's going to speed Tom Chambers straight out. They're going to go through the backs. Nicely up there. That's Luke Williams with a crash ball in the centre. But knock on, so it's advantage Dulwich, and they've turned it over. Ben Potter bringing the backs into play. And they go. Advantage is gone, the ref says, and they've gone down, down the pitch. And they found touch down just outside the 10 meter line, sorry, the five meter line for uh, Bedford. So good start, Dulwich. They just. That, no, that's your mark. He's on middle. No Bedford chance to clear their ranks. Ben Sheriff throwing in. Uh, knocked on and picked up by Dulwich. Dulwich got the first attack in position. Taking up the channels. Just coming back inside the nine. But unfortunately, there's a knock on. They're going back to the original knock on by Bedford. Advantage still playing. So a great base here Crouch. for Dulwich. Fine. They've got a nice big open side and they've got enough room on the line as well to make a difference. They're straight out to the backs. Uh, ben Potter comes back inside. Commentators curse. 
Ford's got to pick it up because Ben Potter has been pulled in. It's good, good rucking by Dulledge there. Getting nice, quick ball. Bedford aren't being able to slow it down at the moment. They nearly ripped there, and it was Bedford. Good hands in there. Okay, but, turnover was good, and then lost forward. But then a knock on by Bedford. Thank you. You see here George Pepper taking it in, and Bedford were there quickly. And that was Gurker and Jahal there, but unfortunately just not knocked it on. That was Michael Phillips, the captain, just knocked it on as they tried to clear it up. Potter, Jack Springbait feeding Potter, coming in wide, that's Isaac Shaw, they're getting closer and closer to this line, they're going blind, out there is Jimmy Shepard, he's held up well by the red of Bedford and they're clearing out well and they've turned it over, but knocked on again there by Bedford, I think that was Alex English there. Just getting involved, just knocked it on. To here again. Good work there by Jimmy Shepard, but excellent work by the defence. And that there again was Gurkha and Jahal over that very well. So Dulledge got another opportunity. They're going out to the backs. And, he, and, he, and he's through. Marcus Marchant goes through the middle there. And right under the post, Dulwich at first blood. Will do. Will you get the kick, Tom? You get the kick? Yeah. Alex Cahill, one of the vice captains today with Jack Springett, is going to uh, pick up the extras. And they are the extras, no problem at all there for Alex Cahill. And just see it again. And I'm sure it was Marcus Marchant that came through the middle there, through the gap. Good quick ball. Yeah, he gives and goes, and then he's just not held on, and he's there, just right under the posts. Excellent work. Made for kicking off, George Rankins sets it up nicely. But that's it. there's nobody in there. That ball's out. That's well played, and they put Dulwich. Dulwich have lost that. That was Bedford in there, but playing on the ground. Unlucky Bedford. Nine red. Uh, kicker, kicker. Here's the mark, please. Through the mark. Another chance for Dulwich to. Push it up. Not much interest on that kick this time, unfortunately. You. you see it here. Well, it been already cleaned out already, but he's on the floor. That was just yeah, just at the end of that. Fine. Thank you. Cleaned out nicely by Dulwich. Good platform to attack. There's Marchant again, feeding Shepherd. Good work by Dulledge, getting it through the hands. Potter again. He's got no shortage of volunteers, want to take that ball up. Referee telling five red to get off there, but they've slowed it down well. Good play by Bedford. The 
and build again. Oh, and ref was happy the ball was out. It was in his hands. So Bedford have turned it back over. George Bennett's coming up with the ball there. Great play there. That's George Thomas making the uh, making the yard through the middle there. Bedford, do they trust their backs? I think they do. Oh, but a bit of a hospital ball there. Ben Barnes was thinking, please don't drop that in a little arc. And he did. They start again, build it again. Really good work by Bedford, but excellent defence by Dulwich. Michael Phillips, the captain there, leading the way. Tom Chambers deciding that kicking the ball, going across, but he's a bit far, but unfortunately, fortunately for Dulwich, but well played Bedford. Good return on that, unfortunately. I think that was Oliver Colleen there, just uh, dropping it, knocking on. So it's a uh, scrum to Bedford. You won't want to see that too many times. But it is wet, it's slippery up there. And they've been trying to get this right for 400 years now, so, you know, there's nothing wrong with a bit more practice. Crouch. Fine. They're just past the halfway line. Bedford, can they build again? And that's a penalty against... Not pushing straight in the scrum. I can see it. I've got a touch judge as well. So good yardage there from Dulwich, piling it down the pitch. But you see here, referee saying that he was talking to his touch judge as well. And he, well, you know, he's saying not driving straight, but he's in communications with his uh, touch judge. And there's one thing we always know. Referee's always right. Cahill bringing the players in and he's dropping back and he wants his, you can see he's calling these backs in the play, but the forwards are going to do the business first. That's Mac Laban taking it up. Potter, Chambers. Four red, four red. Four red. Four red offside. For Bedford. Four. Shot. Shot called. Good and he's going to start Good early and take the points, make it two scores. Have they improved Tom in terms of back foot besides that one? Okay, thanks. So Alex Cahill. <laughs> Alex Cahill with the extras. And it's looking pretty good from here. And the flags go up. And Dulwich go into a 3 0 lead. 3 0 plus the 7 from the try. 10 0 lead. It's complicated in here. So, 12 minutes gone, Dulwich, not a commanding lead, but it's looking good. And from the kickoff straight off, so we're going to go back to a, a scrum for Dulwich in the middle of the field. A great setting this is if we look back there. 400 years of college. Crouch! Bind! Set! Bedford getting the push on there, so taking it on the back foot. And uh, that was uh, 
Alex Cahill did well to get his hands on it. It was slippery, but he won't be sending too many Christmas cards to Ben Potter for that pass. Let me see here. Now, he's got a slippery ball anyway. It's at his feet, so... OK, should have picked it up, but not in these conditions. One more step, Ben. One more step, please. One more. Crouch! Bind! Step! Williamson, Pede and Sharif. Out through the backs. Miss move there. Looking good coming inside. Good defence by Dulledge, but it's well played by Alex Wilcox. That's quick ball recycled. Williamson tries to get them flowing again. Unfortunately, again, it's just these conditions aren't making it. We're going to have a lot of scrums today. And as a ref, you might have heard him just say that we're going to have a lot of scrums today. It's very wet. It's very slippery. But as we saw in the Rugby World Cup, this is the problem that they have. And in, in the Rugby World Cup, was uh, seeing that they were putting baby oil on the ball, washing up liquid, all the Crouch. practice. And you just see here, and fortunately, I think he just tried to Bind. flick it on and miss the tackle as well. The tackler. Set. So Bedford go again. Dulwich go again, even. And that's the, the, the two scrum arms having a right tussle there. Bryn Williamson really got, got up on it, and there's another one, unfortunately. But Dulwich has okay. had two well, knock ons, ben, can't have too many knock ons. But there's, there's the answer put it up high, drop it in on them, and at the moment, you're going to get a knock on, you're going to get a scrum 50 yards down the line. We see it here. Cahill sees that as it comes down. And I think he had one eye on a very quick Marcus Marchant coming up into his ribs. Bind! Set! Springgate feeds Potter, gets it out, but that's turned over by Bedford. And uh, forward kicking in the line there, but the ref... It's not happy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Ten offside. And we're going back to offside against. Ten offside. Against Bedford. Offside. Back, please. Back, please. Yeah, I've got the mark here. And that yeah. puts them right Shot in front forward. of the folks. And they are doing exactly what they did earlier. And who would blame them? <laughs> They're going to take the three points. So what looked good there for Bedford, a quick breakaway has turned into, it's not nailed on, but it's going to be three points to Dulwich. Arms down, please. There's Dulwich, chance to make it. 13-0, and there we go. The flags go up. Dulwich, 13-0 oh, to the good. 15 stay minutes in, gone. Stay inside the scrum, please. I can see, yeah, you're working your way outside. You're a tight head. Stay in. Don't go around outside them. Yeah. Push. So Dulwich, chance to take it back up again. Lost now seven. George Perrar there. And this is, and Bedford have been doing this well. Ruck had already formed. Ruck had already formed. Ruck has already formed, the ref says, so that's... Uh, Six right. the side, because the ruck was there, coming over the top. I'm not going to put it on the screen because I'm not quite sure what the ref was signaling there, but we know the ruck was formed and he came through it. So it could be hands in the ruck, could be in at the side. We are going to leave that for you at home to decide.
In the set, Blue. So they're going again from the line out and then the scrum, the Dulwich are building. Cahill tips over the top and has he made the corner? He hasn't, it's just gone dead. So 22 Seven drop out for Bedford, we're coming back. Bedford get a chance to get Captain. some yards and clear Captain. their lines. So Captain, what we've got is We've got uh, persistent kind of infringing. It's the same type of stuff. It was your 10 and now it's your 7 here. Okay. I'm getting it fed in from the side. Get them to work harder and stay at the hindmost, please. Okay, so 7 red. So we've, uh, we've got a penalty now. 7 red. 7 ref. 7 red. We kind of missed what that was for. Talk, shot. Shot called. There's seven red. Wasn't doing something right. And so Dunnage are going to get a bit more return on this. So Cahill with a chance to make it 16-0. And straight through the middle. minutes gone and it's already 16 nil Bedford they are making an impact on this 400th anniversary game but Bedford have done really well to win that and pull it back George Thomas in it fly off there making the difference and now Bedford can they build can they bring something back Rampley taking it up Bryn Williamson bringing the backs into play there's Phillips, the captain, he's going to try and make it. He's got to rally these troops now. Through the hands, well played there, Henry Warren. Dulwich arm on the back foot here. George Thomas. Back up, Red. Back went up backwards, red. so we were good. So they've got to build again. Ben Sharif there taking Henry it up. Advantage Red. Advantage Red. So Bedford got a free ball here. Still playing. Second advantage. Another advantage for Bedford is continuing. Oh, he's gone with the long over the top pass. And that's pushing Lewis Butley all the way. Butterfly all the way back there, but it was the advantage. They're coming back for it. Hands in the rock. Stay on your feet, please. Yeah, as you can duck, see there, it's off. great when he tells me what it is, so we can tell you. Yes, and to the rock, and then you had a rock, one closer. So and one they are now going for the posts. So early doors, and that's a bit of a kick, this one. Last kick, Doc. Thank you. Yes. Nice one. Thought so. So can Bedford make the first mark of the day? This will be one great kick here. Luke Williams with the effort. It looks like it's got the legs. Has it got the direction? No, just went past the left-hand post. To Dulwich, 22. Looks like he nearly had it there, did Williams. But keep them on, kicker, please. Keep them on. We've gone long and Bedford 
with Ben Barnes, trying to get it back with some interest, but the Dulwich line, step on, step on. we were here filming Dulwich in the week, and that line, it, the defender's line is very, very formidable. George Thomas trying to make a dent in it. Look at that line there, it's up, and the line speed, there we go, up together. He's on. And they're kicking across field. It's all down to the bounce. But Johnny Shepherd, Jimmy Shepherd, has picked it up, <laughs> has made it through. Ref was happy with it, but it's been knocked on, and Bedford has stolen it. Bryn no, Williamson a chance to get his players no, going again. Once again, there's the captain, Phillips, pumping it up. Williamson out again. Get those forwards. It works there. That was Will Rampley doing the business. Getting it out. Phillips, he's got it. He's realised now that he's got to reset that ball, and he does. Good turn, and that's good quick ball. He's still going blind. No path there for for Williamson, but it was okay. Thirteen blue. Thirteen blue. What Offside. Kind of Thirteen blue there. So another chance for Bedford. That's a bit closer. Are they going to go for the That's good comms, the line? Good comms, thank you. And uh, try to scrum, or they're going to go for the post again. The ball okay in the line out, yeah? Williams' hand. See it there. We've missed it there. We nearly saw it there. So, as you were saying, they've decided they've got the momentum, they're going to touch. That's your mark. So now it's the forwards. In and set, right in and set. Dulwich have stolen it, coming away. Stay on. That's a tough get away, right? Stay on, please, stay on. Take it in. Cahill going cross, and that is well, well picked up there by Shaw. Excellent play there by Dulwich. And then, unfortunately, not John. Go back, but it's not John. Let's just bring it in here, James. What's this by Cahill there? Across and Shaw. He was definitely in line or behind. Got there, excellent, and uh, unlucky with the knock-on that followed. But great play there. And there was the knock-on, but great play there from Dulwich. And Cahill, I'm sure, reading it. Bind! Set! Brian Williamson again looking to get his forwards going. Been a blue brick wall so far. He's going blind. Release Sam Williams, the blind side, picking him up. Bedford have got to rebuild. And. And that you must roll away, please. You must not roll rolling away. away the bed for play, not rolling away, blue, roll which away. means that the the ball that was lost there by by Bedford was retrieved back. Marcus, rather yeah. fortunately, I think. But Williams going to go for the corner, and Isaac Shaw has cut it off. They haven't quite made it, and that's Come on, blue. And Isaac Shaw sends it back with a bit of interest. So it's a Bedford line out, but 10 yards back from where they went for the one, but lost about 40 yards there, unfortunately. Thank you. But it's a base to rebuild again. 10 minutes in this first half to go. These boys must be puffing. We haven't stopped the clock once yet. It's been non-stop, good free-flowing game. 400 years of Dulwich College life. Alumni from all of those years. Well, not all of those years. are here today watching and online. Well done, well, Will Rampley. It's a bit messy when it's coming back, and it's uh, unfortunately knocked on. It's slippery. It's a, and as the ref just said there, it's slippery. Come on. Tell us something we didn't know. 
to get to Ben's time. Yeah. Are you Tom? No, Tom. You see there, Rampley gets the ball, does he? Yes, he's got it, comes yeah. down, and then, Cross. unfortunately, too short for Bryn Williamson, and he gets the knock-on. Stay here, please. And we see it again, Broome Williamson is all over Ben Potter. He's Back winning that little battle around the base of the scrum. I think Potter normally has a bit more time, but not today. Good defence there. That's a rock. Down. It's Will Rampley again for Bedford. Roll away, Thomas free. Jack Springate is given a bit of returns there. Two number eights ploughing through those lines. Cahill going long. But at home there is come Alfie on, Wilcox, come on, who unfortunately puts it straight out near our camera guys then. The play. Thank you. So it's going to be a, uh, a Dulwich line out as it goes out on the full. Nice, These lads have not stopped yet. It's not the greatest day in South East London today, yes, as you can see. On, a couple of great spires in the background of Dulwich College. I'm sure there's been, a, I'll try and read up a few prime ministers, ministers, statesmen, whatever. I know Jack D and, um, and a, oh, we've had a Raj here, we've been told, so. Uh, oh, Farage, sorry, I thought it was a Raj. He's nearly a Raj, he's Nigel Farage, an ex-boy. Right, Dulwich push up again. Cahill kicks it through, and it's just got too much legs, and it goes into touch, but was that taken into the touch of Bedford? It was. That's a great kick. Great return by Be by Dulwich. So good attacking line out, and it's been. Stolen by it. Bedford. Early. Early. But no, the penalty is that he's gone up early, early, early jumping yeah, in the yeah. line out. So it's. Scrum called. It's scrum. Darling's have chosen the scrum. Not surprised because the last thing we want to do is try and catch this ball so in midair. Let me have a look at it. Yeah. Going to say this time. Four minutes to half time. Everybody's looking for a break from this rain. And that once again, Brim Williamson is so good round that scrum. Cahill to Marchant, trying to make the dents. Marchant's already scored one try with this type of run. And he's nearly there again. He doesn't right, stay right. down the first time he's picked up. And once again, Potter's under pressure. He gets no time on that ball. Great play there by Rampley. Dulwich go again. They're going to keep this tight one. around the forwards, I think, because there's no, no, no it's one. the handling's not going to work. Here we go. Penalty advantage, Blue. Penalty advantage, but there it's over. And I think that's George Pepper with the try. It is George Pepper with the try. And that, 21 nil. Go Bedford! I'm talking to them, I'm not, I had a, an ammo for advantage there in the next. That's good, me too. So for the extras. And it's Cahill already with three, six, nine, eleven points today, and he's just added two more. Twenty-three nil to Dulwich. 
I had penalty, penalty advantage for one red, not rolling away. One red. You see this again. Great work. There's Pepper in there. Taking it round. No. See, the ball's going to come back there. Pepper picks up, he's got the team behind him, and he just goes, and he's got the power, and he's got the reach, and he's over there. Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, going again. High tackle. Great play there. Yes, Isaac Grieve has come on. Away for yeah, and there's Xavier Rainbow as well. Both come into the mould. Remember that these uh, everybody's got to play a half these days in schoolboy rugby. So um, it's and that's does it can be made up. They're rolling subs Second can be made up, but you have 12, to have straight to ground. off their feet there, Bedford. So Dulles got the advantage. Twelve red. Twelve red. Stay on your feet, please. 12 red, that's the uh, Luke Williams off his feet there. One. And so, referee just saying, I think he just said, I think he said four, but uh, we don't make it quite that long. <laughs> there, we got it, we're going in the I last minute. You can hear them on your microphone. <laughs> So Dulwich, another chance just outside the Bedford 25 to Well played there, well played Dulwich, nice clean. And all oh, this Not the play. spring gate and he's just it's like oh, a too red. ping pong to, uh, what am I talking about? One of those things that you with the flippers, can't remember what they're called, he's bouncing through it. Pinball machine, that's the word I'm looking for. Thank you, Mr. Producer. He was just bouncing off them, but that's with some interest, Rampley at eight, the two eights are having a right game in here. He's just come back and he's stolen it. And Chambers trying to find touch, get it down there, but Isaac Shaw now coming back and he's going to kick going long stop it, stop it. and as he got Jimmy Shepard out there following okay, it up back in Bedford hands Shaw straight up on it and he's pinning him back that's well played can that's he keep him up release. he's got the ground well that's Cahill coming down doing the scrum half duties here they go again and now, oh look at that he's been marched back there <laughs> spring up, gate again Advantage. George he's Thomas coming. pushing back. Penalty but it's advantage. Advantage, right. advantage to Bedford. Still they're just playing. looking here to touch. And they are, as he found it. And it's gone back to Bedford, but we're going back to the penalty. Ten. Okay, nice one. Ten blue, come through the gate. Ten blue. Through the gate, or as we like to say, in at the side. And we have found, no, once again, no touch. Isaac Shaw is going to go back with a bit of interest. Bedford aren't doing themselves any favours. We're not finding the touch and just giving the ball back and allowing Dulwich to run back up. Away for Red! Marcus Marchant taking it in now. There Big again. That's that back row, and that's Gurkha and Jahal. And there is the half-time whistle. I think we're all going to be rather glad to get some break from this momentous rain that is pouring down here in South East England. South East England. South East London. He's, he's, he's got ball out, either ball's after the hindmost, or he's got it in his hands, he's delaying too long. So the timing seems to be good from there now. Yeah, just get him, get him to get away quicker, yeah. <laughs> right, 
right, so let's have a look what happened in that first half. And it's been, fortunately, all Dulwich. Fortunately, it's all Dulwich. And here's the, the start, the first try. This is Marcus Marchant that they're going to see coming through the middle. Good platform, Dulwich. Potter. And there we go. Breakthrough, breakthrough. Little hand off there on Alex Wilcox. And they're in under the posts. And under the post, that makes it 7 0 because Cahill is adding all the extras. Here's the next try. And this is where we see George Pepper. They're just as the rain comes down, as we can see there, and they're just pushing up. And there's Pepper, he's at the back of that mall. He picks up, he sees the gap, he comes off one foot off the other. And look, he's got all those Bedford guys, but he just reaches out there. Unfortunately, Will Rampley, who's had a great game, just couldn't get down underneath him and keep him up. So it's been all Dulwich. And they take the half time at 23 nil. So we will be back in a few minutes. This will not be too great a long a uh, half time. So I think those lads will want to start playing as soon as they can again. Here's a quick break. <laughs> England have won this one, 22 points to six. There's a little bit of an arm wrestle at the start, but England ran away with it in the end. College, this 400th anniversary game versus Bedford, their first game, and they are going to narrow this gap. It's 66 victories to Bedford. They are going to be within one after today, unless Bedford can pull something big out of this bag. And we are just about to get underway. Thank you. 
and we are off Dulwich bringing it up Bedford kicking it down and Dulwich oh, a few people there didn't want that just watched it go past their ears but it was cleaned up nicely by Perra and Dulwich had gone long and race it out. Oliver Killeen that's one of the first clean catches we've had today that is one slippery ball but this is one very wet day and uh, there's the first knock-on of the Blue. See it here. Just as he tried to pick it up there. Yeah, just the knocks it on, unfortunately. Dulwich trying to build again. Set. Potter. Eden Cahill coming round oh, through his hands, unfortunately. And that's a sub coming on. Adam Kinrose there, having an impact on the game straight away. It's well played there. First, I'll mention Joe Collahan's name there. He's kind of been doing the business, but just the quiet assassin. George Perra. Again, ploughing through, and somebody didn't read that. Dulwich gone. Come on, hold on to it. He's done well again. Done very well again, bringing that back in. I think that was Oliver Killeen again. It wouldn't have been. It would have been Lewis Butterfly, because I was talking about the wrong team. So, there you go again. Building through George Thomas. take it up again you see J Johnny Brearley has come onto the pitch as well doing the business oh, great run there excellent play Marcus Marchant try score earlier in the game we know he likes to bounce off those and knocked him there but cool again so well played Dulwich Ben Potter has been very busy and uh, Dulwich have gone long kicked up and this is going to be returned on, with a bit of interest on, by Ben Barnes. And they've got, that's what they're looking for. They got the knock on. Now it's Potter. He's been busy all day. And this is a bit of a lottery, these kicks. Here we see it. It wasn't Potter. Apologise. I think that was Oliver, Oliver Killeen. You know, I've got the right teams in the right places. Now swap my notes over. So can Bedford get the first score of the game of the second half bring themselves back in this game comes out quick but Bryn Williamson's all over it gone Chambers and, it, and it's worked it's gone through and that didn't work out very well we're stopping there and those as they slid in together there completely accidental just I wasn't here was it a head or just legs and those two guys there as they Not slid in I think it's just legs. I thought maybe it shinned was each other. Yeah. And it's going to be a Bedford restart. Four minutes of the second half gone. First stoppage in the game. First clock stoppage in the game. 15. These lads must be happy. Non stop. The last thing I want to do is stand around too much when yeah. it's bringing this much rain down looking at the program did it rain in the first game they played 1881 82 season was that first game 8th of February reading here the weight of the Bedford scrummage was vastly superior they were congratulated this is this is the account from the Alenians the old Alenians <coughs> old Dulwich back in 1881 82 the weight of the Bedford scrum 
scrummage was massively superior to that of our own and we must congratulate our forwards upon the way in which they held their ground. The game was even and slow, anything but sensational. The result proved a draw in favour of neither. Beasley and Carey played well for Bedford for us. Wilfin, Compton, Dalton and Mercer did good service in their respective places. Our return game with Bedford on the 6th of March had the same results as its predecessor. Although both sides played hard, yet no material success could be garnered, gained by either. 1881-82. 26 draws. 64 games, Dulwich have won. Bedford have won 66. It's looking 66-65 as we sit here with four minutes of the second half gone, 23-0, two tries to the good are Dulwich. And these lads, obviously treatment's got to be done, got to be right, but they're going to get very cold, very wet. That will not be much wetter, very cold waiting around. And I think it was the 13, Marcus Marchant, uh, sorry, not Marcus Marchant, Michael Phillips of Bedford that was injured down there. We've also had earlier today the pavilion, which you can see just to the left there in the background, was dedicated today to one of the most remarkable of Dulwich College teachers and advocates, Mr. TJ Terry Walsh, who unfortunately passed away on the 16th of March this year. Terry Walsh was successfully a boarding housemaster, head of lower school and second master at Dulwich over a 35 year teaching career. He led the second 11 cricket, the Colts rugby, community commanding officer of the CCF. And well into his retirement was president of the Aline's Club. He had a major force in raising the two and a half million for the bursary fund. And as honorary archivist, he was elected to the college's first senior fellow in 2003. So a real relic, a real cornerstone of the college over those 35 years. Near. There's a seat on each of the balconies or the pavilion to which his name will be given today. And the unveiling of the plaque to mark the renaming of the pavilion. How much do you get? How many, how many elastic bands do you get? I don't know how many elastic bands you get. There we see the balcony. There's a, a chair up there now in Terry's name. Pavilion, I must say, there's some great parents' teas, some great food in that pavilion today. And you see here, there's a big crowd coming down, they're bearing up under this weather, but you can see there, they still come out in their numbers. And that clubhouse, I can tell you, was earlier, is absolutely packed. No, I think it's just a band. Uh, One thing you'd be assured there'll be first class first class first aid and medical help here today and uh, they've eventually got him onto the truck he's gonna be taken from the field and Bedford are gonna be bringing on 
only sub we've got down here is Lucas Inman, so let's just hope he's a back. <laughs> and we can see there that was 13, Michael Felix, the captain. Uh, gives the thumbs up to everybody, well done. Michael, great game so far. He's done his school proud today. So we're going to restart with a scrum to Bedford. They were going forward at the time we stopped for that injury and quite right, we had 2-2. So can Bedford now make their captain proud and give him something to talk about back in that change room in the medical room? Oh, he's going to be getting his phone out and watching this live stream in front of those lads. Will Rampley picking up well. Kick through there by Tom Chambers, but it hasn't quite come off. Isaac Shaw giving it back with a bit of interest. And now Ben Barnes trying the same again, trying to find those little gaps, looking for the little knock on the catch, but it's not happening there. Everybody seems to have found their catching hands. That's back up, Blue. Back up, Blue. Gone back, which the ref said. So I think we're going to see a little bit here. Dulwich is going to take it up close to the ruck, keep it close, and then Ben's going to pull it out wide. So it's all off nine at the moment. Ben's not needed, and then when he gets that quick ball, he brings in those backs. But uh, there's Will look. Mac Laban. Now he's going to go the other side. Let's keep it in tight. No, that's Jack Stringer. Springgate kicking it through and. Unfortunate there, because that's 21. We don't have a 21. Nearly had the legs to get there. Bedford chance to clear their lines just outside their 10 meter line the 22 I should say give me the wrong area and they picked it up well that's great play there by Will Rampley really picking it up nicely but there's a knock on in the middle of all that you see here yeah it's just as it went to the floor trying to cover it up you see there that uh, Ben Sheriff punching the air in frustration as he knew that that was their chance to get away with it. Crouch! So Dulwich, another opportunity. Ben Potter, Jack Springgate going to try something off the back of the... Uh, normally Jack picks up, but it's coming straight out of Potter this time because that scrum's going backwards. Cahill got to make stuff happen. There's Isaac Shaw, and that was another hospital ball. It was that ring amazingly quick line speed. So the uh, the knock on came from the line speed. You see that, that great scrum by Bedford. Ball's coming out wide. This is good hands. Isaac Shaw, it load up there and unfortunately he knocked it into the Bedford guy as he was coming into him. And so we go back to the Bedford scrum. A chance to clear it and it coming out the back really quick again, but Brim Williamson, he is quick over those first five. And there's Alex Christie trying to kick through. There's Lucas Inman into the game. Chambers going to try and find the, uh, the distance. Make sure Gleave on there, but it setting again. The counter rocking from Bedford's great. And Potter, yes, he's into touch. And Bedford did well there, getting them into touch. Potter trying to work down that little blind side. <laughs> so 
It's heavy ground. The rain's coming down. We just had a break. These lads really got to get it back into their legs. Ben Sheriff with a throw. And Dulwich, have they stolen it? They have. Got a hand in there and then picked up. And Potter there, he was aware of Brent Williamson that time, was looking for him. Springgate feeding Gleave. A heel kicking through again, and has he found touch? He has, and that's a great kick. The line out is not really functioning brilliant for Bedford, so that's good, for, good ground made there by Dulwich. They'll be happy to pressurise that line out down there. Can Sharif find his men this time? Can they hold on to it? Rampley, it's just over Rampley and Dulwich stolen it, but they've knocked on at the same time. So we're going to go back to a Bedford scrum. And Bedford, the last scrum was with Dulwich, they got the push on it, so hopefully they get something out this time. As you see, Rampley was up there, but Sharif missed him. And then Dulwich did pick it up, but unfortunately knocked on at the same time. Solid scrum by Bedford. Picked up there by Rampley. Come round and it's playing advantage for a high tackle there. The Bedford is a bit of a free ball. High tackle really in the news these days. Every school kid is taught now to tackle low, no seatbelt tackles. Everything's got to be down beneath the chest. Advantage still playing. Williamson. Picks it up and over, but the ref's going to bring that back. There's a high tackle there by Dulwich. Oh, welcome, Ramsell. See here. To, uh, this view. And it kind of that is the seatbelt that they're trying to get rid of. Oh, you say so, man. No malice, <laughs> nobody hurt, but it's just high these days, and you can't afford to be anything higher than the chest. Rampley, it gets out and goes through his hands, and then it's knocked on again by Dulwich, unfortunately. And the ball's very loose on the floor. And the ref's in something else. Five blue jumping across. And it's jumping across. So Dulwich get the ball back. And Luke Williams pumps it down, and Bedford have got another. Bedford have got another opportunity to get this line out working properly. <laughs> Rampley at eight, will they aim for him again? Yeah, and he's got it and he's picked it off and Williamson has got it straight out and there's Chambers. Feeding excellently there, feeding Thomas, and he's through. Great yardage by Thomas. Could this be Bedford's first score coming up? Williamson again feeds Chambers. The backs forwards in the in with the backs there, making the difference. Williamson couldn't get the ball out after great play by Warren. So forwards are going to have to regroup. Chambers comes in at scrum half. They still fancy it through the hands. Williams. Finding Christie. Brim Williamson is back in there to Chambers. Feeding Sharif. Good. Williamson again. Chambers. And Chambers made the break and he was nearly there. And unfortunately, he's just knocked down on it. 
Uh, so unlucky there. He made the break, he made the line, but just desperate tackling there by Dulwich. You see here as Williamson comes out and he feeds him. Chambers and he's through, but that's a great tackle there. 19, Xavier Rainbow does enough to just bring him down. So we do have Dulwich get the ball back. Going again on the the scrum, resetting again. Referee strong. Tells him he wants to do it. Let's see it all again. did really well there to get the ball out but Bedford did even better and it's once again it was Williamson really sharp round that the edge of that scrum but you know that George Thomas is pushed back Dulwich are all over them it's like the crowd are behind Warren there trying to get it back and Williamson's gone over they've had the advantage uh, excellent play there so unlucky there by Will Cox Isaac Shaw really like you know kept him in and it's gone out the touch and which way is he signaling Waiting to see which way that line out is going. To line out to the line out is going to be to Bedford. Are you captain? No centers off. Yeah. Okay. Then all we've got there is a bit of crowd-induced handbag. I want your players just to come out of that. Okay. We're going to restart with the line out as it was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The ref said there just a little bit of handbags, but nothing more than that. Everybody is shaking hands, getting ready to go again, and it's going to be a. Bedford line out on the 22. Can they pick it up cleanly again? It's oh, slipped out of Sharif's hands. So they're trying again. Great play there. Great pre presentation again by Christie. I think that was in there. And it's coming back. Bruno Williamson. He's having a great game. That's back great up, hands there from George Thomas, the prop. But it's been pushed back again. Gurkun Jahal there, doing really well. Williamson feeding Bennett. Plays outside him, but Bedford are really good in this area here. Bryn Williamson again. Feeding Luke Williams that's come inside. There's Chambers. And there we go again with Thomas. Bedford clearing out well. Williamson just staying with his forwards, but Chambers struggling hard with it. And they're back in the backs is George Bennett. And Williamson round again. And Dulwich have stolen it. They've got an advantage from the knock on. They've stolen it. Can they make any yards of it? Yards from it? Advantage over. Advantage is over. And they kick the ball away. And now, oh, well up there. Great play there by Dulwich. Can they? No, we yeah. missed something there. There was a. There was a tackle while he was in the air. Massively difficult to try and uh, judge that. Oh, Bedford fancy this tap. They're going long. Can they push? Kinrose back. Uh -huh, brilliantly well up there. Well up, Alfie Wilcox to push Dulwich back. The 
got to keep Dulwich in their own half so they can try and, and Dulwich can do everything to try and keep that uh, big zero on the board. Through the hands of Shaw, he's been impressive all day. Out the back, great play there. George Rawkins with the uh, beneficiary of that. It's gone to touch, but great play there. Great out of the back work there by Shaw. See here, Shaw coming through there, takes it inside and then round his player out the back and the beneficiary Rawlins, but then he was taken into touch by Killeen, slippery, out it goes. Bedford line out. Great work there by Sharif, brought down by Dulwich. Bedford really trying to push back in with this. And they're going to kick it again. Is there anybody at home? They are there, there's Adam Kinrose again. And it's going to give it back with a bit of interest. They're all looking for the, the knock-ons. Lucas Inman, can he hold it up long enough for his forward to get round him? He has, and a good clearing out there by Bedford, and a great tackle there. That's Ben Potter giving some of what Brim Williamson's been giving him all day. Bedford trying to back, and the, the line from Dulwich is very impressive, very, very impressive. Chambers goes again and it just dies down and this ball's not doing anything on this really heavy, muddy, sodden ground. Great play there, Shepard brought down. And we got a bit of a, a knock on there in the tackle. My Dulwich was going to be a Bedford scrum on the five metre line just past halfway and the Dulwich crowd you can start hearing we get there just as he goes forward, goes down, loses it, knocked on, and then picked up by Bedford. Advantages with the scrum. Fifteen minutes to go in the second half. And Williamson again, been excellent around that scrum all day. Beaden Chambers, pop over the top, and it just didn't have, didn't hold up enough for Alfie Wilcox. So Dulledge's ball, Wilcox does what he can to make sure that that doesn't take a quick one, and they release their backs. Dulledge looking very good for this 23-0 at the moment. It's a messy, messy line out there, and it's been ripped. And that's Alex English making the yards. Great second row play there, opened them up, gazelle-like. Brim Williamson going to bring those in, and that's where they've got the advantage. By Blue, offside, and it's a quick one again. It's Rampley, great tackle there. Well, the Dulwich six, I think that is, Sam Williams. But Bedford have got it back. It's going to be Williamson to Chambers. But they've got the advantage again of Bedford. Can they build on this? Not by Luke Williams, but it's gone back to the advantage. Quick tap again by Williams. And, oh, great double. No, I thought that was a great tackle there, but this is... Ref wants to talk about that. Captain, your captain. Oh, ten offside there. You're in your red zone. Please clean it up. Get on side, please. Yeah. He's telling them. He's telling uh, the uh, Sam Williams there. Uh, you're too tight. 
and he's not having any more. We're in the red zone, and that's Luke Williams trying to get that ball down, and he has. And this is Bedford hot on that line now. They really want to make, they really want to get something from today. I think it's fallen out. Dulles turned it over. No, Bedford got it back. And there's Sharif. Can he get it down? I think he has. And it's Sharif with the try for Bedford. And you can see the speed they're running back. They want more of that. Sharif, he's been involved all day. Luke Williams with the uh, opportunity to get it. Can he make this to 16 points? Still two and a bit, two and a bit scores, but it's going to help. Unless they go for three tries, but Luke Williams still 10 minutes to go. Has he got it there? It's just pulled left. Unlucky. Great play by Sharif. We see it again here. You can see Sharif at the start of this play, where we thought they'd lost it. He's out here on the right. It's getting rolled around. It gets tight. We think it's there. You just see Sharif. He gets it. He comes in and he plows through. And it's that Kinross just couldn't hold him up. So we're back. Our Bedford back in the game. 18 points to make up. 11 minutes to do it. Dulledge straight up there, pushing him back down. Great play there Outside. by Jimmy Shepard. They're going kick through the hands again. Yeah, well, uh, back as he's been all time is Cahill making it happen. And that's a penalty to Bedford, holding on. They've gone quick. Quick tap through there. It's just quite come off. And there's a knock on. And that's a knock on by Blue. The advantage is two knock ons. First one off Blue. First off Blue, second off Red. See there. Eight. So Bedford, can they get a platform from here? This will make an interesting last eight minutes if they can get another score here. Williamson beating Chambers through the hands there and unlucky. That's uh, Luke Williams, who's had a really good game throughout here and just unfortunately just, he just, saps the energy but it is very wet very slippery just the unfortunately there yeah, that was enough of it to see he's, he's it. Know what was happening here we go Williamson out missed a couple of players but maybe it was a bit high in this conditions you want to straighten your bread basket straight in the middle of your mid drift Williams in at eight there, picking up, feeding. Tackle was made, no crossing, the ref said. Cahill brought it up. This is the line speed from Dulledge. The support is great, and that's a... Yeah, he's taking a big hit there, did Xavier Rainbow, but uh, that's because his ball went out from his hands. And he's went backwards, the referee said. Great yardage there. Xavier Rainbow again, after that big hit, he did well. Oh, and that was taken. Good hands there to pick that up. I think that was Archie Woodcock. 
And you can see it's just continually so hard to hold on to. Clearing up there, Joe Collahan. But Bedford are on the front foot. They're pushing them back at every opportunity. Look at the line speed from Bedford. But it's not gone. We've got advantage to Dulwich, to, to Bedford from Dulwich. Can they make anything of it? Can they go through the hands and try and break it? And there's the interception, but as we well know, the ref has gone back for the knock-on. No advantage. No advantage unless you're a Dulwich blue. Lost it there, and look at that. Nothing wrong with that, just big, hard tackle. Who was that? That was uh, George Thomas there, giving some feedback. Just, unfortunately, there's the knock-on. Just mean that, just, there it is. And we went back for it. Here we go again. Come on, Bedford, can they do it? Five and a half to go. And that was Williamson there trying to kick through. Cleared out there by the Dulwich player. Williamson's been brilliant round the bottom of this scrum all day. And he goes there. And that was the first time that Ben Putter has got the better of him around the, the base of that scrum. And that means that Bedford lose again. It's a free kick to Dulwich, and they're going to try and run this through. They're going to try and run these last five minutes and play it in the Bedford half. Potter beaten again. He's been so good at that. Another knock on. Advantage is over. Bedford had it. They kicked it away. And Bedford are getting up quick. The line speed is getting better and better. Back there, Sam Williams covering so much ground. But there too was Chambers really pushing up on it. And Dulwich are going wide. He's gone for the kick. Has he got the legs? Unfortunately, there's Ben Barnes clearing up. Luke Williams kicking it over the top. Can he get on the end of it? And Levin Lewis, Budley, and he's there. Yes. He's happy with that. And Bedford are making inroads. Great play there by Lewis Butley. Did you see that? Yeah. Kicked away by Dulwich. Picked up there. Barnes to Williams. Over the top it goes. Butley is flying it through. Gets the hack on it. And then just gets in there. There we go, the downward pressure. Excellent play. Bedford. Can they, that's 13 points with these extras. Just missed it, so it's still two tries needed to get back in this game. But it's a game on now. So we are now looking for a very juicy last three minutes. Can Bedford get some returns from this? So they've got it in hand. Now, can they go through? Here we go. Oh, Dulwich there doing really well. Picking that up. Come on, you've got to Got to go out, Williamson, and kick through again. And he's just beaten there. Adam Kinrose is back there, clearing up, making a good job of it. I see Bedford all over him, line speed, but there's Cooper again, but there's Ben Barnes all over it. Oh, an unlucky knock on there, because that looked like we might have some breakaway down the line from the man in the shirt with no name and number. 
But the knock-on by Dulwich means that Bedford have got one more chance. Let's come back here. Yeah, Ben Barnes, great pressure, then followed up, and just unfortunately there. What was that? Was that? Crunch. It was it. Isaac Grieve just couldn't bring Five. it in to make that break down the line. Step. No, start there or go to the back. Oh. Williamson out okay, defeating Chambers. Can he break them? Bring them away. He's got a chip edge, and he's hoping that he's going to get something from Butley again. Bedford are trying all they can, but the ref has gone back. It's an offside. Thank you. Midfield, offside. Yes, please. And so, through Thomas, they're tapping and going. Great tackle there. These tackles are coming in. This is true great schoolboy rugby, and there's Butley again pushing, and unfortunately. It's been knocked on. Dulwich, can they clear it back up? Now what they've got a last minute here where they just got to control it in the forwards, keep it in tight. It's been knocked on again by Bedford, so we're going back to... Nine red in the side, nine red. In at the side. You need to start, you need to start. Nine red. They've gone for touch. And they found it, and now it's going to be probably the last, possibly when this lineup comes in, the last play of the game. Bedford have given, given their best in this second half, but it just hasn't quite got there. Dulwich have narrowed this gap 67 victories to 66. Dulwich won within one touching distance. Well played, Dulwich off the line out there in these conditions. Off his foot there. That was well played there by Alex Cahill because he didn't realise how slippery it was. And they're going deep again. And there is Budley and Barnes went backwards. Just pushing back. Can he push there? That's Cahill back there. Can they get any pressure on there? Come out, Blue. Come out, Blue. Come out, one. And now can they return this with a bit of interest? That's Sharif, the try scorer from earlier. He's waiting for the backs. He wanted a bit of magic. Williamson's put, topped it over. Has anybody got the legs to get there? And it's just seen into play there. And uh, Ben Barnes wants that ball. But that is the final whistle. And Dulwich have run out 23 10 winners on their 400th anniversary game, 1619 to 2019, 400 years of Dulwich College. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. 1881 Thank you. was the first Thank game. You. Thank you. Well they are well now done. within Thanks. one of Bedford. Thanks. 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 66 Thanks. to 65. Well what a great, Thank great you. game day there in well conditions well that, well, I think they'll be well experiencing well similar well in Tokyo well with just not quite the winds. Well you can see there that the the camera is even now attracting the rain. Let's quickly run through the uh, story of the game. Dulwich start this off strongly from the. Uh, Scrum, good platform, came out, and this is where Marchant comes through the middle, bounces, there we go, bounces, goes through the middle, pulls it off, little hand off there, on Alfie Wilcox, and he's over. So Dulwich started with a 7-0 victory, and then they followed up again with another try, and this was, this time it was George Perrar there, the two just going to come into the picture there, it's going to pick up. You can see the rain was pouring down at this stage. Picks up, base one foot off the other, sees the gap, and he goes low, and he reaches out, and he was there. Excellent work. Second half, the tries.
This was Bedford coming back into it. And they're going to go. This is Sharif. You can see him on the right hand side there. He's going to get involved and come in. There's Sharif. Comes back in and just goes once again hard and low, and they can't keep him up. And Bedford, I suddenly feel they're back in it. And the last try of the game, possibly the best try of the game. So Dulwich cleared their ranks. We picked up by Barnes. Feeds Williams, kicks over, and there you can see Buddley ploughing on, gets there, kicks on, and now it's just a race to the ball. And can he get there? And there we see the downward pressure. Great play by Bedford, great play by Butterley, brings it back in. But unfortunately, in these conditions, it just wasn't quite enough today. And as you can see there, all the coaches, the players, first thing they can do is to get under the umbrellas, get the coats on. And we are there, 400 years of college. 1881, what would that be? That would be 140 odd years of rugby between the two schools, their oldest fixture. We have now come to the end of Dulwich Bedford, the 400th exhibition game. James Hanks, the coach in the uh, foreground here, former Exeter alumni down there to those lads that uh, they're going to go down in the history of Dulwich College. And they are part of this Dulwich College. Now I'm going to work that 18, what we were saying, it was 18. 81, so that would be 100 and 20, 40, 137 years ago, this fixture was first played. So exceptional work by Dulwich. We would like to say thank you for joining us down here in South East London, London, a cheers mate, hi mate production. Dulwich 23, Bedford. 10. England have won this one 22 points to six. There's a little bit of an arm wrestle at the start, but England ran away with it in the end.